Hello all the festive viewers welcome to another match preview of the Hero Indian Super League in today's video we will analyze the match between Kerala Blasters and Odisha FC Kerala Blasters are currently 10th in the points table while Odisha FC are currently 11th in the points table so it will be a battle between the two bottom most teams of the points table let us now take take a look at the team news the predicted lineups of both the sides start with the Kerala Blasters side they are coming from a huge setback loss against Mumbai City FC where they were dominating from minute 1 by the by Sergio Lobera's side uh, they only have one win from the eight matches and it's high time that they have to start winning to keep their season on track their strikers have been vastly unimpressive so far with both Jordan Murray and Gary Hooper as they have only three games to their names in the total so moving on to the team news, uh, Kibu Vinuch Vichuna for some reason decided to drop the goal scorer against Hyderabad FC. Haku against Mumbai City FC and the other Indian centre back Sandeep Singh was nervous as well. Uh, let's not forget Albino Gomes, he is the best we have ever seen when saving the spot kicks as he now have 3 out of 3 penalties saved in this year's ISL already. Sahel Perira and Jessel had a great game against Mumbai City FC as well. If there could be any one change in the team, it should be at the defence with Haku or Kone coming back for Sandeep Singh. Moving on to the predicted formation, it would be 4-3-3 with Albino Gomes in between the sticks, Jessel Kone, Costa and Nishu Kumar as the defenders, Jack Jackson Singh, uh, Perira and Vincente Gomez as the midfielders, Rahul KP, Murray and Sahal as the attackers. Next talk about Odisha FC who are yet to win a match in the Hero ISL this year. They are undergoing the same fate as that of Hyderabad FC in the last season. They look less threatening in front of the goal as well. They led SC East Bengal to have their first win and the goal scored in, the, and the goal scored in that contest by Odisha was an own goal. Their defence is also under a lot of criticism and it will be interesting to see how Stuart Baxter gets his team motivated for the rest of the season. Moving on to the team news, Baxter opted for a traditional 4-3-3 against East Bengal and it never really made a difference to their points tally. Although they didn't score a goal last match, Diego Mauricio and Manuel Onbu looked sharp. Their defence are very much shaky and have conceded second most number of goals this season, just behind East Bengal. For some reason, Baxter made only one late substitution against East Bengal and there are a lot of criticisms on him for not using his bench well, especially for benching his star player Marcelino. They have no suspensions or injuries to worry about, although Trat, Antony and Bora have to be careful of not picking up a yellow card tonight as they are with three yellows already in this season. Moving on to the predicted formation, it would be 4-3-3 with Arshdeep Singh as the goalkeeper, Antony, Trat and T Taylor and Sarangi as the defenders, Bora, Cole, Alexander and Vinit Rai as the midfielders, Mauricio, Onvu and Jerry as the attackers. Our last segment is what can be expected in the match today. It's a do or die for both the teams. They need those three points to get their season back on track. It would be difficult. It would be a difficult fixture for Odisha FC considering their gameplay as Kerala Blasters look far more better and threatening. We are expecting Kerala Blasters to have the upper hand in the match tonight. What are your thoughts? Leave on the comment section below. Thank you for watching Fisto Sports. We have a lot of match matches coming up, a lot of action coming up and we will be covering every single match so stay tuned.